Well, good morning. It's not just any morning. It is the morning after Christmas. So if your Christmas morning is like mine, then you probably have some trash like this. So guys, the good thing is, not only is it the day after Christmas, but it's also garbage day. So let's take out this garbage before we start talking about this next project here. So let's go back inside the house where it's relatively cool and uh, we'll discuss this next project. It is a do-it-yourself portable um, smartphone recharger. So hang in there and uh, we'll get, let's just do this. So guys, here's the other part to the story. Um, a while back, I guess a couple of months ago, I um, took a trip to the Bass Pro Shop. And in there, I just started taking pictures of stuff and uploading it with uh, little funny sayings or whatever. And I came across this uh, portable power pack for your, um, to recharge your, your cell phones, your smartphones, maybe small tablets, stuff like that. And the pricing, as you can see, let me see if I can, uh, um, zero in on some of this pricing. It was all the way up from like uh, forty dollars to almost seventy. So, um, and then one of my friends um, came down in the comment section. Here's Teresa. She says those prices are crazy. Definitely check out Amazon. Well, I'm definitely going to do that. But anyway, I decided that hey friend from work um, already sent me a, a little video of this it was a uh, do-it-yourself um, um, you know little power pack portable power pack to uh, recharge your own cell phone so as, as you can see here he's taking a that uh, car adapter he's yanking it out uh, the guts of it are electronics. He has a 9 volt battery clip. He's going to solder those two pieces together and um, then he uh, just kind of jump ahead if I can. Uh, that's after his soldering job. I uh, just got a candy box. Looks like an Altoids. And he starts punching holes in it to make a bigger hole to uh, stick your uh, the connector to your adapter, your charger adapter in. And then of course after that he just um, you know, he tapes everything in place. I have a better idea for that. And then, of course, uh, at the end of the video, um, you see someone charging up their uh, smartphone there. So that's the idea, and that's what we're going to try to accomplish. Number one, to see if it if it will really work or not. And then um, number two, heck, use it. So I'll see you in the workshop or my garage. So like on the video, the first thing I want to do is uh, take this outside uh, plastic off of here. Um, I think it's just going to require brute force, so let's see what we can do. I'm just going to use a screwdriver, and hopefully I don't stab myself. See if I can use this knife.
Okay, got it off. Take this little thing off here. And what else would that do? Read it. Well, there's a little booger bear to get off too. All right. But, um, we got these nine volt battery lead clips. I got these over at um, uh, Radio Shack. I'm really trying to get these battery clips out of the package. It's like trying to get that electronics out of that plastic holder. So these leads are already nice and ready to uh, solder onto here. Uh, looks like we could possibly glue, I mean not glue, um, solder the, um, the positive or the red one to the spring. I'll cut down the spring and uh, the black one of course will go on one of these. So soldering those 9 volt lead clips onto that uh, little piece of electronics uh, was a lot tougher than I thought. Um, most of my soldering irons are like 30 something years old, the solder maybe is just too old, there's not a flex in it, I don't know. But I finally was able to pull it off so we'll move on to the next part of this project. So just by eyeballing um, this little circuit board here and the side of the uh, candy container. I'm just going to draw a, uh, a little uh, square. This is the part. That I need to cut out. So as you saw, I used a, um, you know, uh, a wire cutter here to um, kind of finish off opening it up. Uh, the blade on that uh, metal cutter was just too uh, wide and uh, it would have made it uh, a little too big here. So I've also got a uh, file and I did some filing just so I could uh, uh, smooth out the edges basically. Now, this should fit right here. So, I'm going to use the silicon glue here. And I'm going to glue the circuit board onto the back 
of the of the candy box and I'm using silicon glue because number one it dries quicker and good and also to help insulate it from uh, electrically insulate it from the box although I think the box is going to be pretty much a, a ground anyways We'll set that in place and let it dry. And while it's drying, I might as well clean up some of the stuff off this table, right? So as you notice in that little video clip on uh, Facebook, um, the guy who made his own uh, do-it-yourself, he had an extra battery um, for a, um, <clears throat> you know, replacement. And there's just really no room in this thing here for an extra 9 volt battery. I don't know how he did it. Maybe his little electronic circuit board was smaller than mine. I don't know. But when I was at Radio Shack buying these uh, 9 volt um, battery leads, I noticed that uh, they had some of these 9 volt battery clips. So I'm going to go ahead and use silicon glue glue the battery onto the top to give it some more, um, just make it more sturdy basically. So I'll just, uh, oh by the way I've already plugged in my battery as you can see. So I'll put on the battery clip here and then on the bottom of this battery clip I'll just put on some silicon glue, generous amounts, and then uh, just set it um, on top here and just let it dry and the circuit board is still drying and then um, I guess in a few hours after it dries we'll give it a test drive. In fact we're gonna test drive using my old um, iPhone. I guess this is like an iPhone 3 because I'm not gonna test it out on my iPhone 6. Why well, I, I use this one? So We'll uh, play around with this one, see if it works. And if it blows it up, hey, no problem. I wasn't using it anymore, right? Okay, folks, as you can see here, it is charging. For those who know the old iPhone charging icon up to the uh, upper right, um, you'll see that it's charging. We'll come back in about another hour and uh, see how it's doing. Remember, it's about only two thirds or one half the way charged. Okay guys, we are back. Um, let's zoom on in. And uh, we are fully charged, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It took about two hours to um, go from one half to um, two-thirds charge to fully charge so if you can wait that long yeah this is a good project but um, I think there may be some better devices out there on the commercial market but this is what I pulled off or you know like next to nothing all right let's go back in and um, do a recap hey guys let's have a quick uh, recap here was this project making this uh, portable um, power supply for your you know your smartphones um, a viable project well I think so um, it may not be for everyone you got to remember you know a long time ago I was into electronics and I had all this well as you saw you know soldering irons and stuff like that so <clears throat> if you're into that type of stuff yeah go for it um, but definitely if you're not into electronics and stuff don't go out and buy it because you know it takes some experience to use and as you saw my old soldering irons are they're, they're pretty old and uh, I probably need to get them replaced and all that solder is probably no good so uh, you know it took a lot of patience to uh, get it all soldered now um, 
I was fine with testing it out on my old um, iPhone 3. Um, I don't know what, what you do with those old iPhone 3s anymore, except maybe turn them into an iPod or use them as an iPod, but I don't have any problem in, in um, uh, using it on my um, iPhone 6 now. So um, we'll go from there, and I hope you learned something. If you, if you have the knowledge and the tools to do this, yeah, go for it, but if you don't, don't bother with it. Um, you know, just go to uh, Amazon, Bass Pro Shop and buy one of those devices and I think uh, it'll probably have better results. I mean, those are probably made with uh, better components and everything. So um, until then, stay tuned for the next project or the uh, next adventure. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.